Imogene is a clinical stage immuno-oncology company out of Australia. We have a uh, we have two platform of technology which we like to call B-cell peptide therapies, and we have one platform which was originally computer generated, and it's Hervax, which is an anti-HER2 B-cell peptide vaccine against uh, HER2 proliferation or HER2 overexpression. We have another platform we also call Mimetopes, building on that idea of B-cell technology in that we can take any known or existing monoclonal antibodies and reverse engineer that and make that into a B-cell peptide vaccine with all the benefits of safety and antibody production. Um, it's a really nice platform to produce various different kinds of B-cell peptide vaccine therapies against cancer targets. Imaging in line with a lot of different small biotech companies out there is to develop a product on up to a proof of concept. Sometimes you get a, a look at targets in and in a efficacy model and we would um, like to partner that with um, a bigger pharma company so that they can develop that that, that much further. So I would say our main markets around the immuno-oncology therapy. However, the uh, current market and the current pharma and biotech companies are very focused on T-cell modulation, whereas Imogene is squarely interested in the B-cell modulation, where it's, this is a very novel and innovative approach to immuno-oncology. And so I don't see many competitions in this particular space. I think there's some academics right now producing those, but we're in the clinic. So we're, we're best in class or first in class um, out of that league. So Imaging started with uh, a venture capital uh, funding about, about $5 million, and then it appeared on the Australian Stock Exchange roughly about 2013, and since then we were able to raise um, roughly about 12 to 13 million, and currently our market cap um, hovers around 40 million AUD, and our largest shareholder is Platinum. So I see uh, tremendous news coming out of imaging as little as in, in the next week to months and, and uh, years down the line. So our pipeline, I see it in sort of three swim lane, swim lane um, prospects. We have one, our first off in-clinic product called Hervax, which is an anti-HER2 B-cell peptide vaccine. That is just about to hit our phase 1B2 study in recruitment. And so as little as months, you, you will see some patients data um, and that news flow throughout the year. And then on our next swim lane is what we call uh, mimetose, which is basically um, mimicking a known monoclonal antibody that's already validated. We're going to reverse engineer that into another B-cell peptide vaccine. And so that candidate we hope to announce within months um, down the line. And then our third item, we just took a library on of arginine modulators. And so we'll develop that through a proof of concept, run some preclinical studies, and and hope to partner that so we can have news flow within the months as well. I see a huge opportunity here with that swim, three swim lane items, three sort of development path. Um, we've got Hervax that's going to be starting to recruit patients and we'll run right that into a, a we'll run it right into a phase two. And then with Mimetopes, once we identify a candidate, we'll develop that in the preclinical model and hope to get that in the clinic, as well as the arginine's modulator. So I think the prospects for imaging is huge. So Hervax is an anti-HER2. And we have a phase one breast cancer study um, data, but what we would like to do is explore the gastric cancer population, which also suffers from HER2 proliferation or overexpression. And Asia has a predominant amount of gastric cancer prevalency rate, so we're squarely in Asia, so we can get we can um, obtain those population. Our mimetope technology is unique in that when a patient is administered our B-cell vaccines, their B-cell then produces the antibodies towards a specific cancer target.